Hey guys, I am actually letting this guy out and I came out here and I see this guy forming his chrysalis. So we're gonna watch here what happens for a couple of seconds. Let's see this guy make his chrysalis. He's starting to split and that he's gonna basically slough off his outer skin here. Let me get balanced because I didn't have my camera pod here on me, but I do have my little phone. And you can see how he's gonna, his skin just kind of splits there between the two antenna. Usually take about between two to four minutes to happen to fully get to the chrysalis forming. Let's see if we can get a close up here. You can see there's a lot of empty chrysalises there next to him. And you can see he's wiggling. That's not me shaking it at all. It's definitely him. And we'll come back over here. We'll check him out in just a second. Let's go over here. Oh, this guy's calling up my leg here. He, uh, I'm not quite ready. Shaking and shivering. It's a little chilly today. He's, uh, he's not quite ready to go fly off in here in this butterfly enclosure. He's a little bit chilly. He's just fresh, uh, closed. He's just taking a look there. New boy. We'll put him over here on this lantana plant and see if he enjoys that. He may not want to sit on there. He may want to hang. There he goes. Let's check this guy out here. So you guys can see back here, my, we had a friend that kind of escaped from our little enclosures, made himself a chrysalis in the back here. You can see that chrysalis is starting to clear up. And you can see towards the back over here, the back here, it's starting to go clear. You can start to see the orange uh, wings forming. And as it gets closer and closer to closing, it'll completely clear out and you'll be able to see the black and orange that a monarch typically has. So fun stuff going on here in this little butterfly closure. Hey yeah, buddy. And they're usually pretty calm right now and he's falling because he's not quite ready to doesn't have all the strength needed yet you can see how he's still kind of shaking he's really trying to clear his body of all that fluid he's still kind of dripping but that helps his body to process everything get those wings fully expanded so that when it's time for him to take off, he can do so. And he can't do that yet because he's still drying out. He's just enjoying his, his time here on my hand. All right, let's take a look back here at this guy that was making his chrysalis. There he is. He's completely got enclosed in his chrysalis and he's doing the final twisting and turning. And that, that black uh, stuff that's hanging up at the top, that stuff will fall down here soon. And then um, what will be left is just the, um, the stem that's attached uh, via a button to the top of the cage here. And they'll be pretty close. They'll be pretty, uh, pretty still unless somebody comes along and bumps the cage. You can see he's kind of disturbing that chrysalis next to him because he's wriggling and writhing around. But he'll stop here pretty soon, so it's not too worrisome. Oh, there it goes. And he's good to go there. You can see it kind of solidifies up the body as he kind of goes round and round in a circle. He'll take a couple of breaks here and there to
be still and then he'll start up his circles again here. And so you guys have gotten to see a full-on chrysalis forming. <laughs>